Um, Happy New Year, Libran. Welcome, Librans. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Librans, your year is going to be something else. Happy New Year. This is the year 2021. Librans, uh, this year is going to be a year of uh, transition, Libran, whatever is happening and transpiring. Um, whoever you Librans are, there is going to be some problems, some issues, that is going to be happening in this year. Liberance, liberance, liberance. Um, there is just uncertainty in this year. Okay. Uncertainty. And the uncertainty is because some of you have created some sort of a, um, karmatic issues that needs to be resolved. Whatever these karmatic issues is, whatever the situation is, whatever that was transpiring, Librans, I see a whole lot of issues is going to be coming up. It's as if for you, Librans, in this year, 2021, the only people that will um, get out of this if you are born on the 21st uh, of a month, okay? And this is this is really some sort of, or your... Um, your world, your life purpose is 21, um, adds up to 21. But I see problems for you, Libra. Or if you work with the, uh, the energy of three, you will be lucky in this year. But if not, Libra, this year, all your energies are in reverse. And that means these are karmatic situation that you have to bring to balance. Karmatic situation that you have to bring to balance. What is happening behind the scenes uh, and what is transpiring? Who are you going to be dealing with? Uh, a lot of you are going to be doing it with a Leo. You're going to be dealing with a Leo person who have used their powers in the wrong way or a Leo person in powers. A lot of you are going to be dealing with a Taurus um, and a, a Capricorn boss. So one could be a Taurus boss, one could be a Capricorn boss. Truths are going to be coming out. So you, Libran, could be the one that is dropping big secrets about the collaboration between these two men. You, Librans, are going to be um, giving information that these two men has been collaborating in business for a very, very long time. You could be a porn to uh, a poor to a very criminal organization, and you are the one. That is going to be giving up these people and is going to be letting people know who these people are and what these people were doing. So Librans, it's going to be a year. This year, you Librans have to stand strong. Whatever is transpiring, you Librans have to stand strong in this year because some sort of information. Some of you Librans have collaborated with a group of um, unsavory people. And these people are unsavory because these people are not honest. Some sort of a dishonesty with these people is you liberals are going to be bringing it to a balance. Okay, so it's as if you liberals realize that you got connected or you were working for two men, a, a Virgo man and a, um, and a Capricorn man. And these men have gotten you in some serious issue and problem. And you're trying to resolve this and trying to get yourself out of this. So what we're seeing and what we're understanding is that we are now realizing that we have to work on karmas in this year 2021. You Librans, especially um, um, in the month of January, is going to be receiving some news that um, you're could be receiving some news from people in power or your boss or authority figures that you're not going to be happy with. So be aware of this. Um, the energies in this is, um, um, as we look at 18 is 9, um, there is no double sort of energy. It is just that you're dealing with karmas. Um, children could be coming up if you're dealing with fire sign children. You could be finding out some sort of a secrecy about a Aries child or Aries Leo or Sagittarius person, you could be finding out some sort of information about this child. But I see if you are married um, to a Virgo man and a or a Capricorn man, a whole lot of information about this person business is going to be coming out and the collaboration between them and a Virgo person. This information is going to be coming out. Librans, 
I see you're going to be having some sort of an issue with your house or some sort of an issue at work. And especially if your boss is a Taurus or a Virgo, these people are going to be creating some sort of a problems for you Librans and you've got to be aware of this. The month that you're supposed to look out for is the month of February. That is a fire energy where the sun information is coming out that is going to be coming in from people in authority. The month of March, I see some sort of information about travel is going to be blocked or stopped um, for you liberals. In the month of April, you're dealing with people in authority and some of you could be dealing with your boss that is a Leo or an Aries or an Aries and a Leo. Um, in the month of May, information secrets is going to be coming out. Um, that is going to be blocking some of you liberals. So then I see in the month of June, you're waiting for some information, but the information that comes in is not going to be good for you liberals. So, so June is going to be a month where information comes in that is not going to be good. A lot of you are going to be getting some sort of information in June about um, travel relocation is blocked. Um, some of you are going to be reaching out in June to a Virgo man for some sort of a financial help. That answer is not going to be yes. So that sort of a situation is coming up. Um, if this Virgo man could be your father or a family member or an ex-boss or your boss. The month to look out for, the last and final month to look out for is the month of uh, July. The month of July is where you have lost all your strength. It's as if your strength is drained. It's as if uh, you have no more strength to deal with a situation. It's as if you're giving up uh, in the month of July because it's as if all your resources, all your thing there is now gone and you're trying and to find inner strength to deal with moving forward, okay? So the month of February, month of March, the month of April, the month of May, and the month of July is going to be every energy month, especially the month of July. The month of April and July is going to be really, really hard for you Librans because of some sort of a... a information or some sort of a situation that came from the past is coming back to haunt you in these months so ladies and gentlemen let's look at uh, what is happening so the month of Jul january what is happening in the month of january is that some sort of information is going to be coming out about people in power or the um your governments or uh, um or your uh presidents or governments could be releasing some sort of a surprising information that is going to be coming out. So expect that um, Librans in the month of January, it's about information, information coming out. Um, that for some of you young people between the ages of 18 and 45, is going to basically give up. What the information that is, is coming out is not very good. Okay, so um, whatever information is about block the stop of travel, for you liberals between the ages of 18 and 45, that is going to be affecting you liberals. Some sort of a block or a block of relocating for you liberals is going to be coming out in the month of January. So be aware of this and be aligned of this and be ready to um, accept the information. In order to find out what this is all about and what information and what is going to be affecting you, um, choose for the third um, subscription that serves the third subscription is going to be giving you extra information about what is coming up then as we move forward and we are looking at the month of uh, uh, February um, the month of February some sort of a a secrets is going to be coming out. Secrets information that was held is going to be coming out. You or the one could be bringing out this information or someone else. So you are bringing this information about someone else and letting people know what was happening and transpire. So I see secrets about block transfer movement. Um, uh, it's not going to be there anymore for you because I see um, relocation is not going to be there. Um, a lot of you liberals is going to be caught up in a situation, caught up in a place where you can't move 
or there is no resolution you're looking for help you're trying to call different people to resolve a situation there is um no one at this moment so it is going to be a, a bit of weird because not all of you vibrate on the same energy vibration so be aware of that and the month of march is a fire energy um this fire energy in march is about movement it's about movements for black um, when it comes up to some of you Librans, not all of you remember that especially young people movements are going to be blocked for some of you you might have to be um, doing school in uh, out of home no movement you can't go to the playtime that sort of a thing young people who are starting can't get a job that sort of a thing so be aware of that what is happening so it is all about these powerful energies this major arcana um that is coming up some of you wanted to relocate it it's not going to relocate no relocation some of you wanted to um some sort of a decision some sort of a situation that is happening some of you are going to be realizing that you are blocked from moving traveling um for you liberals okay then when we look at uh, the month of april so we're moving in um the second quarter so liberals go back and look at your uh, third quarter to find out what exactly is coming up in the month of January, February and March because January has to do with information. February has to do with some sort of information. Light is shed on something and March is about no movement, no travel, blockages, blocks, no travel, no movement, no relocation for you liberate in the month of March. So be aware of that. Then we are looking at the month of April. We're looking at uh, the second quarter the second quarter has to do with uh, some sort of an issue power struggle with people in power and this is a fire energy so you're getting a whole lot of fire energy um february to march is fire energy so you're you're dealing with people you're coming up against people um with passion some of you could be using your passion in order to get out of some sort of a situation and finding the inner strength to deal with your passion and use your passion a lot of you are going to be connecting with leo people and uh, aries people and leo people and you are going to it's as if these people um is connected to you and you're going to be up to be working through some sort of an issue with these people now your opposite is uh, in relationship is the Aries so you Librans are connected with the Aries but I see you're dealing with a Leo person that you have to be aware of uh, because you have to find the inner strength to deal with this person so Libran be aware of this so, so situation with authorities or people in authorities and, and bosses that sort of a thing is going to be happening in the month of uh, uh, April or people who are holding and, and using their powers against you Libran and is uh, treating you or is having their powers over you in a month of April as we get to May it is more of an um, easier energy it is going to be water energy it's going to be secrets coming out it's going to be you connecting to your spirit guide praying open Open up the door to spiritualities because uh, you're calling up and your higher self now, um, the eye princess to come in and to help you to exhaust you and fill you with energy in order to get out of some sort of a confrontation that is around you, some sort of a secrecy, some sort of a problem that was kept and was created around you. Okay. As we look at the month of June, you're dealing with a fire energy and it's about communication and it's about you waiting for a message and it's about you receiving message that you were open was positive. And, you know, it is about the fair. It's as if the fair, you're having fair, you're dealing with fear in this year because you're not sure. You're not sure where you are. You're not sure where you're at. You're trying to figure out and you're trying to take back your power. And it's about information, communication, standing your ground, trying to figure out, trying to take back your power. That is what this um, uh, month of June is all about. Waiting, 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 messages coming out, information. You're being blocked. You can't move and that sort of a situation. I see some of you are going to be reaching out and asking a Virgo man for some sort of a help. That is what is going to be coming in and we're seeing this happening. Then as we move forward and we're moving in the third quarter, the third quarter is also 
where you lose uh, your energy, you lose your power, you lose your power in the month of July. Whatever is transpiring, a lot of you have lost the fight between a Capricorn man and a Virgo man. Whatever is happening, a lot of you is like um, they are using, um, but it's as if um, you're revealing the secret. It's as if you ask for help, you ask these people for help. And in order to get out of a problem or a situation, I see you're going to throw them under the bus and said, listen, all right, these are the people who have asked me to do whatever, whatever. And I see you liberals are going to be a really um, telling and showing the link and the connection between a Virgo man and a Capricorn man. And you're the one who is going to be showing up these people because you realize that these people have gotten you in some sort of a situation. You are trying to figure out how to get out of this situation and they're not helping you. And I see you're just going to lay your burden down in July and said, listen to me, these are the people who have done this and I want to get out of the situation. I have nothing to do with it. They are the one who asked me to do this. And I see that is where you're just going to be. Hey, I don't care anymore. I got to let this go and I got to get out of this. That's what you're going to be doing in July. In August, I see some sort of a help could be coming in um, to some of you because of the secrets that you reveal. I see that you're going to be receiving help. So it's as if you, um, Libran said, I'm not keeping the secret no more for this uh, um, Virgo man and this uh, um, Capricorn man because they throw me under the bus. And because you reveal the secret in July, help is going to be coming in in August. So September, you're open to get out of a situation, but it's not yet. Uh, you reveal some information. They have to check the information and you're not yet there to get out of whatever that was happening and transpiring. So I see you're still waiting for some sort of a, uh, information to come in. It's as if they need to check these uh, um, information that you gave them in order to for you to get out of this problem, this situation, this issue, and realizing that, yes, um, you're waiting on some sort of information to come out. Then when we um, look at uh, um, um, the month of uh, uh, October, October is when you are really dealing with, um, some of you with your boss and your boss is a Capricorn person, a really irritant man. This man is 50 years and older. It could be your grandfather. It could be your father. It could be your husband or it could be your boss or someone in power. This man is really irritated. Um, this man is a very deceptive person and they're finding out who this person is. This person um, behave like as if he's a Leo, but it's a business. It's, it's a businessman. And behaving as if he can roll and rave like a lion and you're like, whatever, I'm over with you. I, I really don't care what you're going to be raving and ranting about. Um, You know, I'm over. I don't want it anymore. I don't want to go. And I see some of you are going to be walking away from this boss or this person that's distinguished this energy. It's like tomorrow. Bye. I'm out of here. Because it's as if whoever this man is, um, for some of you, it's going to be a Capricorn man. For some of you, it's going to be a Virgo man. These two people have done some things together that you realize that you got pulled into. Whether it was your husband, whether it was your father, whether it was your brother. Whether, but they use the power of the lion to overcome or want to buy you out or want to block your business or want to do this. And I see their powers is now over in this year. And I see some of you liberals are going to be looking at, yeah, it's about time because you were um, raving like a lion too much and conquering everybody business and everybody thing and treating people indifferently and unfair. Thank God this is over. So I see a lot of you are going to be so happy um, to see these two men or these three men fall in the month of uh, October. The month of uh, November is showing up uh, this Capricorn man and this Virgo man. And I see they are going to be realizing who this Capricorn man and this Virgo man is and how they become connected in business. They're going to be finding out the connection of these two. Because I see some of you liberals decide, hey, 
you guys didn't help me out okay bye because i'm throwing you under the bus there it is so and i see you liberals you know it is what you did was right because these people they are they they, they have manipulated they treat people like they were you know garbage and i see you liberals are taking your powers back and said hell no mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. You liberals are like, you used me, treated me badly, and now you're trying to, and I, I see you liberals is like, no, 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 no. It could be your boss. It could be someone who tried to overpower some of you, and you're going to be no, 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 no. This is not how it works. Um, you know, I'm going to be making changes. I'm giving you two up, and I'm showing the light. And secrets are coming out. People are now seeing the network and the connection between this Virgo and the, this Capricorn and the Taurus businessman and how they do business and the corruption, the corrupt business and what they do and how they treat people. And I see this is going to be coming out. So we're moving on and we're looking at December and December I see a lot of you are trying to balance out some sort of an issue with um, work or issues with a bank or issues with your home or issues with relocating because uh, that was what some of you wanted to do. Issues with traveling. So December, you're still blocked. You can't. You are unable to get out of uh, whatever is transpiring. Traveling is not over. Um, so you're still where you at. Uh, and it is as if those old year you have been cleaning, cleaning, clearing, karmas, resolving issues, situation with people left, right, and center. So December is as if you feel as if, thank God it's December, this year is going to be over. I hope that, you know, this year is end now and whatever. I was dealing with these people, but some of you, Shed light on a, a Capricorn person and whoever this Capricorn person is, is going to try to block you in the future. But guess what? No, no, no. Because they are going to be releasing this. So um, look out for 2020 um, two reading because that is a double energy. That is the energy of the Liberals. You're going to be freed in 2022. Whatever is happening and transpiring, whatever issues, whatever situation you have been going through, whatever blockage, and the problems that is created for you, you are going to be freed in 2022. So it's going to be a year, Libran. Um, you know, tie your gurgles and everything, but it can be very powerful and, 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 and instrumental. Um, it is a year of intuition, power, and powerful nudge from spirit, psychic dreams, a time to listen to your instinct okay introspect vision and hearing the heaven keep secrets hidden wisdom allowing your project to generate in the numerous space of the linear and this is good so this year is like a sacred share okay so it's like some sort of a sacred situation is going to be um really helping you to protect you from some sort of a um, the situation that was created around you, and this is going to be God. So when we look at the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles is showing up, giving and receiving the flow of abundancy, being charitable, accepting help from other people, power and balance, um, sidestepping and misery and a misery mind. So may it rain like rose, okay? So um, expect some of you that things are going to be um, good for some of you, um, especially people who are working with a psychic world or you're doing anything that you and your spirit guides are working together. It's going to be a good, powerful year. So that is going to be positive. And it is only that if you notice, the eye princess is about your eye self and wisdom and knowledge. And if you are working with the spirit world, they are going to be helping you and you are going to be very, very successful in this year. But if you are working on the mundane 
three-dimensional frequency, you're going to be having problems. And some of you who are in the four dimension is going to be caught up in all of this misery and destruction um, that has been coming up and transpired. So be aware of this. So, so what we're looking um, for is that secrecy in government institutes or organization could be coming out. Some of you could be bringing out this information knowledge. Um, light is going to be shedding on um, something about travels. Travel is going to be blocked and that is going to be happening. Um, some sort of a power that uh, people had some sort of a powers over you. You're going to be really relieve, relieving this and releasing yourself from people who have uh, had power over you. You're going to be taking back your power. So this is going to be good. The truth is going to be coming out about a Taurus, a Capricorn and a Taurus businessman. Whoever these people are have been, um, you know, um, um, doing some sort of a criminal thing. And um, they connect and network and have some sort of a contract and it's coming to light in this year and you are going to be giving them up and showing them up for who they are. I do love you guys. I got to go. I am saying um, happy new year. I will speak to you uh, later. Namaste.